In this video, I'm going to give you some tips about using the calculator and all of the different places where there's an E, because students sometimes get confused about this. Um, first is that the key you will most often be using for doing exponential calculations is right here where you see e to the x above this key marked ln. I'll say more about ln in another video. So you hit second in this button to get the e to the power symbol. And for example, part of the calculation we did in a previous video was e to the 0.05 times 4, and that's the result. That is the key that you will use most often. If your calculator uses only left to right notation, then that is still the key to use, but it looks a little different. It has an E, a hat, and a parenthesis, and you should close up the parenthesis like, like that. So there's the same calculation done in left to right notation. I'm going to go back to math print mode on this calculator and show you the other E symbols that you might see on the calculator. So first, over the percent key, sorry, over the division key right here, there's a little lowercase e. That generates just a lowercase e without an exponent. And if you evaluate that, that's just an approximation for the magic constant e. You will also see a capital letter E. On this calculator, it's above the sine key, which is another function for another day. And to get this E, you hit the alphabet button and then the key with the green E over it. What that, what that capital E does, it lets you refer to the calculator's memory. So remember that the calculator has memory for each letter of the alphabet. So for example, it has an A and a B and a C. And these numbers that you're seeing are numbers that I've stored under A, B, and C in previous calculations. So for example, suppose that I wanted to store the number four in A, I could type the four and then hit the store button, which is right here next to the on key and the one key. When I hit the store button, it generates that arrow. Now I hit the alphabet button and the key with the A over it, and that has now stored the number four in the calculator's memory uh, under the letter A. And if I were to, for example, type alphabet and that button again to get the A, the calculator recalls the four. I can also use it in calculations, so A squared gives 16, and so on. Um, students sometimes ask, do I need to clear out the memory? Um, the calculator's memory is always there. If nothing is stored in one of these alphabet memories, then there's a zero there. And that's why, for example, if I do this, there's there's a zero in the E because I've just never stored anything under E before. So this is an important thing to remember because if you're trying to do an exponential calculation, if you use this E, this capital E, it's going to, to pull a number or maybe even just zero from the calculator's memory. And that's generally not what you want. So if you, again, if you want to do an exponential calculation, you should use the e to the power symbol from, uh, from down here on this key. Um, another place you will see an e is that right here above the comma key, there's a, a double e symbol. And oddly enough, when you type that, you do second and then that key to get it, to get it. You get a lowercase, well, not exactly lowercase, I guess that's small capital E. And if you just type it like that, the calculator complains. What that means to the calculator is a power of 10. 
let me show you how that works. So I'm going to type in 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And when I have the calculator evaluate this, you can see it says 1, small caps E, negative 11. The calculator uses that small capital E to indicate a power of 10. So what I've really done here is 1 times 10 to the negative 11. And the little little capital E there separates the power of 10 from the rest of the number. To give you another way of looking at this, suppose I do this. So 0 0.000, lots of zeros, 235689. The calculator expresses that in scientific notation as 2.35689 times e to the negative ninth. So 2.35689 times 10 to the power negative 9. Even if you never need to type in a number this way, like here's here's how to type it in using that notation. Even if you never need to type it in, you will see this in results that the calculator generates for you. Um, here's another way you might see it. Suppose that I type uh, 4, 5, 6, and then lots of zeros. So this is a very large number. Now when I hit enter, again the calculator expresses it in scientific notation. That's 4.56 times 10 to the power 12. That kind of number shows up a lot when you're doing exponential calculations. So there you can see e to the 23 is a big number, e to the 30 is an even bigger number, and the calculator expresses it in scientific notation as 1 point something times 10 to the 13th. So when you're working with exponential functions, you tend to get very large magnitudes. You also tend to get very small magnitudes. Okay, so that one's not too bad, negative 5. But if I do e to the negative 12, you can see there it gives me 6.14 and some change times 10 to the negative 6. So it's a way of quickly expressing um, small numbers and large numbers, well, small magnitudes and large magnitudes. Um, one last thing to know about this is that the calculator has has a special way of treating that that um, exponential e that indicates the power of 10. If I do the following, 1 divided by 6 times 10 to the power 4, that comes out, that is 1 over 6 with four zeros after it. That's using the small capital E notation. Watch what happens if I try to use the power of 10 directly. Now I get something completely different. Here's why. The calculator considers the E part here to be part of the number, so that 6 small cap E4 is considered a single algebraic unit in this calculation. So this calculation that I've highlighted is 1 divided by the number 6 times 10 to the fourth. However, if I type it like this, the calculator actually interprets the multiplication as happening after the division. So this is interpreted as 1 sixth, then multiplied by 10 to the fourth. And that's why it comes out to be uh, 1,666. If I want 1 divided by the number 6 times 10 to the fourth in this notation, I have to put parentheses around the 6 times 10 to the fourth. Oops. Sorry. I must have must have hit a shift key by mistake. There we go. So that's that's a reason that the calculator has this feature. 
Now, as to why does the calculator use a little e to indicate a power of 10, I mean, surely they could have picked something less confusing. And some brands of calculators actually do have a, a less confusing notation for this. Uh, the reason for this is historical. Uh, back in the 60s and 70s, when computers were being developed, um, this notation uh, was used to represent numbers with a power of 10, uh, particularly in the programming language Fortran. And the notation has just kind of stuck with us ever since. Um, so again, just to, to tell you, for the most part, while you're doing exponential calculations, the key that you actually want most often is to do second and then this ln key to get the e to the power function. And the others um, have their own separate meanings. Uh, be sure not to get them confused.